They don't fit, Your Honor. Oh! Ah, winter, a time of cozy holiday spirit, snow and school day cancellations, and uh, the sun setting at 5 p.m., leaving half the population with with crippling seasonal depression. How am I bracing the cold and fighting off the winter blues this year, you might wonder? By spending copious amounts of money. Yeah, saving for an apartment, student loans, dental payments. Nope, 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 nope. The only thing I'm investing my hard earned cash this winter is close, close, close. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. Hello, did you miss me? Well, I didn't miss you, and I think you're being incredibly weird and clingy. I, I told you this was a super casual thing, and I just, you know, I don't want any stress, please. We've all been there before. I had to tell someone that, right, ladies? <laughs> Put her there. Put her there. I'm not usually someone who's very flippant with money. I'm usually very frugal. I love to thrift, things of that matter. But last month, I discovered a little appy app called The Real Real. Yeah, I already knew what The Real Real was, but I just assumed it was full of a bunch of outdated clothing that was way out of my price point anyway, but it's not. What can I say? I'm just in some girl. I'm just in some crazy girl. I think when it comes to fashion identity or a distinct sense of outward expression through clothing, my taste has definitely matured throughout the years, leaving aesthetic culture and trying to attach to an ultimately larger and more personal sensibility, if that makes sense. Really just wearing what feels good. Okay, enough chitter chatter, enough dumb contrived fashion speak. We're gonna rip these bad boys open and start with the tops first. Also, I really didn't order a lot of things. I'm not, I'm not that big of a baller. I noticed that something that the real road does is that they will ship a lot of their items separately. What? Separately, eagle legally. They will ship their items separately and put them each in like this garment bag that feels like, you know, I guess pretty luxurious and nice. And you can definitely upcycle and reuse these. But when you have like 12, it's like, it's a little bit, it's, it's a little bit excessive. It's a little bit too much. Oh. I thought this piece was a lot more structured. It just looks very like hard on the mannequin. Anyway, this is a sexy, sexy silk button up from Tule with the sexiest ruffle embellishments. <gasps> Bury me in the sweater. I'm sorry, just bury me. Remember when I said if I could be any inanimate object come to life, I would be a pair clothing item. I would be a pair of black pleated pants. I changed my mind. It's this top. There is nothing I love more than a top or any kind of fashion concept that is ultimately very basic, but just has any kind of detail that just makes it so elevated an elevated basic i love an elevated basic uh, i think pieces like these are so much fun because they allow you to either build or take away from the outfit um super easily they're like super non-threatening you could double down on the ruffle embellishments and either add a bottom that is very similar um, and make it even more crazy 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 or hey i'm just a simple cool girl okay i own an entire Issei Miyake collection, but I also like drink beer. You could pair it with jeans and a loafer, no sweat out the door. Super casual, super natural. Oh, casual, oh, natural. I have four more tops, I think, and these next ones are all from Helmet Lang. I think Helmet Lang is such a cool brand. A very minimalist. Their designs are described as deconstructivist, I think, which I really agree with because while their pieces are primarily really basic, they're full of basics, they have little details that are present uh, of like asymmetry and dissonance that I just mm, can't get enough of. Oh, this is gray? Oh my, okay. This is great. On the app, this sweater looked beige. Oh, this is really simple, really basic. I don't really have much to say about this sweater. I normally don't really tend to notice or even like color blocking in fashion, um, but I think the fit paired with this little, this little like asymmetrical detail. I mean, I, I, what can I say? I, I have to have it, what can I say? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, what's that? You want to see the other side of my chic yet seemingly very boring and basic white button up? Well, of course you may. Oh, 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 oh. What's that? You were simultaneously impressed and intrigued by the double tie feature right here? <laughs> of course you are. This is just absolutely one of the sickest things ever. You can either tie the knots individually or you can make them come together. 
and I have like one big knot. Come on, you guys, this piece is just a bit of me. It's just a bit of me. If you have seen any fashion related video of mine, you'd know that I love a button up basic. I love it. All these bags are really overstimulating me and I just picked this one up with my toes. So just so you know, and I'm gonna remove it with my toes. Look at that, the human body. <laughs> this is the biker jacket of my dreams. The sleeves are, they're a little short. The sleeves are just a little bit short, just a little bit, just a little bit. So the thing about this jacket is so reminiscent of like a vintage military workwear motorcycle kind of feel. I'm just throwing around words. I'm just throwing words around now. It's giving military. I'm literally in the drill, sorry. I'm literally a drill sergeant. Cadets at your positions. The last top that I have is actually a jacket and it's from Marnie. This jacket makes me feel like I am a very cool like art professor, but, I, but I'm but i from like Italy or something. She smokes cigarettes here and there, even though she knows she shouldn't. She had one kid and immediately had her tubes tied after. She's cool. She speaks like five different languages, but you know, in a cool way because she's cool. Look at these pleated accents that go all the way around the jacket. Are you, are you kidding me? And then you literally tie it in the back. Although I will say, the, why are these straps so long? Why, am I a horse? Oh, I lied, I definitely lied. Uh, the last top I have is actually the one I'm wearing right now. It's from the brand Pam and Gella. Pam and Gella? I don't know, I'm so sorry. There are star accents all over the sweater. You can wear it like off the shoulder, make it a little scandalous. You can wear it super modest. You're, hey, eyes up here. I was scared at first because it was labeled as petite. And I was like, oh my God, the, the arm, the sleeves are not gonna be long enough for me. I have long arms, I have long legs. Thankfully they are, they're very long. They even have these little, these little holes for your thumbs. How cool is that? We shall now move on to the bottoms. Bottoms, this is your time to shine. Bottoms, let me hear you make some noise. I got two pairs of shorts and two skirts. The one pair that has not come in yet. There are these Marnie shorts that are very, very cute and somehow, some way meet my body dysmorphia field, very strange standard of shorts that I can get that like don't make me freak out. So they're coming in tomorrow and I don't have time for tomorrow. I'm a woman of business. I'm a woman of today. These are a pair of plaid shorts from Chloe. Oh, Hmm. The accents in these are a lot more blue than I thought they'd be. On the app, they looked definitely more neutral, like more warm. They do, God, Jesus, like a stink bomb. Okay. They do kind of give like Disney XD vibes and they are primarily polyester. But, 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 they were criminally on sale with the way the railroad like begs its customers to buy its clothing by discounting everything. And on top of that, I had a 30% off coupon code. So I saw these as a new styling challenge. How on earth would I style these? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe. Oh no, it's giving boxers, it's giving boxers. It looks like box, it looks like boxers. Oh, 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 please, I don't wanna hear it, okay? Cause if Miss Bella Hadid, Miss Bella Hadidi pulled out in these shorts, like a fit like this, the Bella Bots would be scouring Depop and every single thrift store within a 50 mile radius, within 36 hours to get that outfit, okay? I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> They're on standby. I'm gonna put a pin in these. I, don't... I have two skirts here. They were literally $10. This one is from Michael Kors and one is from Chloe. Honestly, I think skirts are becoming my favorite bottom. I think perceiving skirts as daunting is basically like a rite of passage for each girl because skirts are just seen as a clothing piece that is so inherently feminine and sometimes very sexual and just signifies that you're like very done up that day. Do you know what I mean? They can really be used to gather up a lot of attention. Like in high school, when you wanted to wear a skirt, but you didn't want to look too done up and have the attention on you, you would text your friend and be like, oh, let's both wear skirts tomorrow. Let's Tomorrow, let's wear skirts. Wednesday, skirts. And when you would wear with your friends still, you would walk down the halls with like your palms sweaty because you think that everyone is either sexualizing you or judging you. You're literally like, I'm 16 years old and I'm a slut. But the past few years, I've really been liking a skirt, I think because I like to juxtapose it with like a uh, clothing item that's traditionally not so feminine, I guess. Either like a super oversized big blazer or like big stompy boots. I don't know. I don't know if you can tell, but there is like a double, 
like a what is this like like a hem there's just like a thing here and then a thing there and this is something that i would pair the skirt with like a blazer boots it's giving very very auntie um you know you you know the vibes a lot of the skirts on the real are pretty long um i kind of wish i could hem this and make it shorter because <laughs> i'm not 40 um but it's definitely workable and i don't shy away from like covering my entire body <laughs> you know that this skirt is giving me it's kind of giving me grandma i i would like to hem it i want it to be shorter tell me does this look like silk to you does it does it like a silk not exactly not quite yeah i mean i know it's silk but i just thought it'd be a little bit more flowy you know the fabric would drape a little bit more it's a little bit structured it's giving church dress they can't all be winners uh. i have three pairs of shoes first we have these prada loafers yeah i know what you're thinking you're like just that is the shoe of a 47 year old man yeah and you know what i say that you're right you're absolutely right you are right now see the way i see it is that this shoe is supposed to be paired with like a scumpy outfit okay scumpy Scum as in lola scumpy something very low stress something reminiscent of like truly something that an old man would wear yeah yeah these are, look at them uh-huh look an oversized outfit uh i don't want to be perceived today outfit so don't even look at me okay I told you not to look at why are you still looking next I got these loafers from helmet Lang I have had my eye on these black and white tuxedo style loafers for truly so long for years particularly like the dr. Martin ones I really liked those they lived rent free in my mind and in my tumblr reblogs I saw a pair in the dr. Martin store in Soho earlier this year and I wa I wanted them but I just couldn't do it I couldn't do it I couldn't do it this stupid pointed toe. I'm trying to get these shoes on. They're literally seven and a half. I can fit them. I can fit. Look, I can fit them. I love my shoes. They're so cool. I love how they're pointed. Um, um, oh, Your Honor, I think they don't fit. They don't fit, Your Honor. Oh, God. Jeez. Lastly, we have a moto boot. Uh, simply put, I've been looking for a good moto boot for a while now. Okay, well, we're going to test it. Do the moto boats fit? What is a moto boat? <laughs> the moto, <laughs> the moto boots, the, the moto boots. Hey, look, these are a size eight and a half. This is giving real baby foot to me. This is, I, I don't have big feet by any means, but this is giving baby foot. I don't even have like wide feet. Like, are, do people just have like baby feet in Italy? What, what is going on here? <sighs> no, no, no. Get in there. Oh no, this can't be. Well, uh, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this night has taken, a t uh, this afternoon has taken a turn for the worse. It has. These are a seven and a half. I fit seven and a half fine. These, uh, these are eight and a half. Eight and a half. I thought they'd even be big. I was like, oh my God, these are going to be a little bit big. They don't fit. Ah! <sighs> um, I'm very disappointed. Not the fact that I have to return them. Oh, yeah, that fact, but I really wanted those loafers. Oh, these are perfect. No. Oh, oh, oh. These are such cool shoes. I suppose uh, my search for the perfect tuxedo loafer continues. It's not over yet. So that was that was a try on. Switch back to main just switch. I'm in a very I'm in a bad mood. Switch now. One bag it's from mark jacobs there she is it's literally just a bag not much not yeah it's really heavy wow that's gonna mean something good right listen i have had a very complicated relationship with bags being a self-proclaimed tomboy i hated bags i hated them specifically the ones that would go over your shoulder i thought they looked stupid i thought they looked silly i wanted absolutely no parts of it i don't know what it was i think it's the overall concept of just having like a little bag like purse on your shoulder. Do you know what I mean? Also, limited mobility. You can't do this. So I was definitely a crossbody girl until earlier this year, I was like, oh, 
yeah yeah you know what pairing a carhartt crossbody with a little spaghetti strap mini dress does in fact look ridiculous so i knew i needed my first bag like my first big girl bag i wanted something very simple yet versatile and like fun i am a fun girl i prioritize fun at the end of the day fun 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 i love fun something reminiscent of something that miley cyrus would have worn in the 2010s when she was making every teenager's like head spin singing can't be tamed i want to be a part of something i don't know wise words this is not a clothing item but i finally bought a new wallet for the past four years i had been using this like zip one from target and then the zip like exploded if that makes sense it couldn't zip back up so for two years i had just been using like a beat up looking black leather wallet that just won't zip so it's like open half the time all the time so but i finally got a new one and for some reason i was really particular about it i got this one from aliexpress i like how it says jeep on it because it's really like it's like i'm just, I'm just a cool girl like i have a jeep wallet like whatever truth be told if i don't carry cash what makes you think i would carry change of course i wanted like a change compartment just for me to put a keychain on it which i did i put my little miffy baby I think that is honestly everything for the most part. Black Friday just passed and I purchased a lot of makeup and beauty and fragrance products that'll be featured in another video. You know, I had to double it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, treat yourself. Do anything to tend to yourself in this capitalistic sun setting at 4 p.m. hellscape that we call Earth. Okay? Let me know what your favorite piece was if you have one. Keep it sexy. Keep it hot. Peace out. Peace out.